Yeah, so the ED just called and we're getting dumped like three or four patients right now. So sometimes the tabs were on call, so we're gonna head downstairs to the first floor, see what's going on and admit them. Good morning, YouTube. It is about 5 a.m. in the morning. This is when I usually get up. I'm usually pretty exhausted and tired. It takes me a minute every now and then. I think I got up a little bit sooner and quicker today because I knew I had to film a video. But yeah, kind of get up, hit the lights, make sure, you know, make my bed in the morning. Starting off with, you know, some productivity. Boom. That's how we do it. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Austin, I'm a third year medical student and I'm super excited to be taking all of you with me on a internal medicine rotation call day. So these call days happen every four days. So there's five teams here at UIC. So every four days we just alternate when we take call, which means instead of just working a seven to five shift, we work seven to seven. So anything after 5 p.m., we admit all those patients. So today is super fun. I'm energetic at five in the morning because I know I'm not doing this 12 hour call shift alone, I'm taking all of y'all with me. So I'm gonna do my personal best to share as much as possible with you, let you know what I'm doing at all times, when I'm seeing patients, what I'm charting and what I'm doing on the computers and all of that. So I hope that can be helpful and give you a little more insight on what this rotation is like. So let's get after it. I'm gonna go make some coffee right now, get the day started, go wash up and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to take you all with me and uh, do this call day together. So 12 hour shift, internal medicine. And if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to do so. I make helpful videos for all people interested in the field of medicine, no matter where you are in the journey. And I also like making vlogs to give you all a little bit more insight on what it's like to be a medical student and be in the field of medicine. So let's get after this call day, let's do it. All right, everyone, quick little morning routine. Gonna jump in the shower, wash my face, contacts, do the hair, brush my teeth, all of that jazz. This usually takes me between like 5 a.m. and 5.25 a.m. And usually I'm out back on my desk by around 5.30 a.m. to do some work and you know to do my quiet time and all of that for an hour. And then I leave here around 6.30 a.m. to get to the hospital by seven. So I'll fill you all in once I get ready and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, so in terms of attire, I used to wear like pretty professional clothes for the first like two or three days of the rotation. But then you realize like all the residents and doctors most of the time just wear scrubs now, especially with COVID. So around five in the morning, I'm not the most keen on wearing dress pants, dress clothes. So scrubs it is, so let me whip on these scrubs. coffee back uh, from about like 525 ish to 545 just around 20 minutes a day uh, I like to spend it in the word and I realized that you know as I get older and older and more and more further in my medical training I actually have like less and less time but you know for me that just means that I need uh, to rely on God more and more as I go on so even though you know, I'm not able to spend as much time in the word as I am on a 12-hour shift in the hospital unfortunately uh, at least I can give God the first I mean, 15 to 20 minutes of the day before I even you know, get to the hospitals. All right, everyone. So for the rest of the morning, the next like 5.45 to like 6.15ish, 30 minutes or so, I pretty much just like to get all my Anki reviews done. If you're not sure how I'm studying for my rotations, like shelf and step two, I made a video all about that. So check it up out here. And if you've been following my channel, you know how much I like the space repetition program Anki. So I try to get my Anki cards done in the morning. And then the rest of the day, when I have like off time at the hospital, I'll try to do like some questions on tutor mode for UWorld. I try to do like 
30-ish questions a day if possible. Whatever I don't finish at the hospital, I'll do at home. But usually on call days, I can kind of find some opportunities and windows to get my work done in between charting and seeing patients. But if not, then uh, you just got to do it when you get home. That's probably the you know, most difficult part of rotations is not just being in the hospital for 10 to 12 hours, six days a week, but the studying that comes after. You know, I don't mind being in the hospital. I really get annoyed and I hate the studying that comes after. So. You know, that's uh, kind of why I like to do in the morning because once I get back from rotations and you know I go work out, I take a shower and eat dinner, I'm pretty much toast. Like I just want to sleep. So it's like you know something I noticed early on is that if I don't study in the morning, I don't study at all. So that's why I get up a little bit earlier. You know, get in the right headspace, have my quiet time, and I'm just gonna bang out these Anki cards. Let's do it. So headed down to get the car. The commute time is pretty much uh, 30 minutes door to door, I'd say. I'm only driving for like 12 minutes or so, but uh, I park for free at like a neighborhood near the hospital because the parking is super expensive and you know, being there every day would destroy my bank account. So I park like relatively close and then uh, I walk for like five to seven minutes. Just don't want to be late, I had to get there on seven to pre-round, which just means like, I'm going around to see the patient before the attending, who's a supervising doctor, sees the patients, and just making sure nothing happened overnight or anything like that. So I'm gonna get there with seven and let you all know. leaving the parking garage about to drive to school it'll be about 10 or 12 minutes and uh I'll let you know what we're doing when we get there like i said before it's uh, the pre-round on patients so yeah i get there before the attending so the supervisor gets there around nine and then we round together so all right so we're stuck behind this bus 6 let's get going all right 647 not bad oh 648 so we're already basically here. We're just gonna walk over to the hospital, which is right over there, and we're good to go. All right, so just walking to the hospital. It's about like a five to seven minute walk. My pace is generally pretty brisk, so it's not bad. Like I said before, I give myself 30 minutes door to door just because you don't wanna be late, right? That's the last thing you wanna do, especially when you're getting evaluated by your seniors and the attending and all of that. So I wanna give myself a lot of time to see my patients. Today, I only have three patients to see. Normally students, they get around like one to two, sometimes three to four, and I've had as many as five once, but that was after a really like, you know, busy and full list that we had. So normally I'd say it's around two to three patients, and I just wanna have enough time to see my patients, get everything all situated. All right, just got to the hospital. It's like 6.55 a.m. This is like a conference room where you can like chart, look at patient notes and all that. All right, so it's 7 a.m. So between seven and nine, like I said, it's pre-rounding. So I'm just gonna chart on my patients, basically see if there's anything in their labs, anything that changed overnight. And then that takes about like 15, 20 minutes for everyone, I write it all down. Then I go see the patients, do a little physical exam, just see how they're doing overnight. And uh, if it's a patient we've already admitted before, so I know who the patient is, I've followed them already, it's usually pretty quick. So just check up on uh, you know how they're doing, you know, see what the plan is for today, see if there's been any updates in the things that we did yesterday or if anything happened to them overnight, talk to the cross cover. Then I go examine the patient and then we round as a team. So at 9 a.m. the attending comes and that's when we do a table round. So for about an hour, an hour and a half, we go through our whole patient list. Today it's 19, our cap is 20, so it's a really busy day. But 
We're gonna get through it, hopefully discharge some patients, send them home, clear out our list, and then we're on call. So we're just gonna get more and more patients throughout the day. So basically we pre-round, we go through the list, and then we go see the patients with you know, the attending doctor, or we might only see like the new patient sometimes, depending on what the day's like. And I'll let you know how it goes, and we'll be charting the rest of the day. It's a lot of notes, kind of sucks, but uh, you know, if you don't document it, it didn't happen. So gotta make sure everything goes into EMR. All right, so now we're gonna go see our patients. We did our morning pre-round chart check. And what we do when we see our patients that are new is we do a SOAP note. So we already know the patient. So we do first S, subjective. How's the patient doing? Anything happened overnight? What's going on? Objective, any change in vitals, any change in labs, any change in the physical exam, document all of that. Then the most important part is the A and P assessment and plan. So what are we gonna do today? What's going on with the patient? And most of this stuff we kind of come up with our, on our own. And then we do our table rounds, like I told you, at nine when the attending comes. And then we kind of go over everything and decide as a team what's the best assessment and plan for each patient and what we're gonna do today. So my team is three medical students. There's four residents, two of them are senior residents, the other two are interns, and then the attending. So there's a lot of different you know, thoughts and uh, different you know, minds involved. So we make sure we get the best patient care for all our patients. When we admit new patients that come in, we do a full h &P. So that's like the full history and physical, their social history, allergies, family history, pest medical history, all of that. So we'll do some of that today, especially because we're on call. So we'll be getting a lot of new admissions throughout the day. So we'll try to keep you guys updated. First patient is down here. It's good. We'll always take the stairs. All right, so patient number one today was doing a lot better. We treated him with the antibiotic course. His pneumonia is all good. So we're gonna send him home today. So that's one discharge and it lowers my patient count to two. And then uh, hopefully we can get some more patients out if they're feeling better. It's the best feeling. Just finish rounding up the patients. We go back see if there's any new admissions, and then uh, we'll round as a team. Do our table rounds like I talked about at nine. So it's almost nine a.m. Let's go. So we pretty much just finished rounding on all of our patients. We did the table rounds with the attending and then we saw the new patients together as a team. And we can pretty much all agree and came up with a plan for each of our patients. So now the rest of the day, I'm gonna go back to the room, just chart all the notes we have to do, call the consults that we have to talk to, like all the other specialists for you know, further advice and further you know, thoughts on how we're gonna manage certain situations that are more outside the scope of general medicine. So that's pretty much what we're doing the rest of the day, making sure all the notes are on there, all the labs are ordered, and everything is good to go and that nothing goes wrong for the patients. Continue to monitor their vitals and their labs. And that's kind of how the rest of the day looks. If we get more and more admits, like the ED would just call us because we're on call, so we're taking all the new patients that come into the emergency department. If the emergency medicine team sends them up our way, then we'll take them. Let's get these notes done and hopefully have a smooth rest of the day. ED just dumped like three patients on this last minute. This sometimes happens when we're on call, so it's gonna be a busy day. Let's go, I gotta go see them now. So I uh, just got back from the emergency room. Basically this new patient came in with like a diabetic foot ulcer and then it kind of went all the way down to the bone. So he has something called osteomyelitis, which is like a infection of the bone. So right now we're treating him like empirically with some antibiotics to make sure you know, it doesn't get any worse. I had to go call some consults, we call it podiatry. So they're gonna come take a look and biopsy it tomorrow, make sure we know exactly what we're treating and maybe they'll have to do some type of procedure or something. So we're gonna keep them here on internal medicine as an inpatient to sort of further manage and figure out what's the best move to, to treat this patient. So I finished up the notes for my other patients already. So hopefully if no one else calls or 
something like that. We should be good to go for the rest of the day. And uh, just wrapping everything up, make sure everything's good for sign out. We're gonna sign out to the overnight team and they'll take over caring for the patients, so. So at this point in the day, I'm pretty tired, but just finishing up some notes and doing my handoffs, which is just like putting in key information in the chart so that the overnight team, when they see the patient chart, they quickly know some key information they should know before caring for the patient. All right, so that wraps up our whole day. Super happy that I was able to have this experience, learn a lot, do a lot of internal medicine, and maybe can see myself in the hospitalist career someday. We'll see, I still have a lot of rotations to do, but stay tuned into my channel, and I'll be sure to continue to bring updates for all of you. Hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a 12 hour call day as internal medicine, third year medical student. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day.